Hi, my name is Haya. I am the owner and founder of Haya Tea, which is wordplay on the Arabic word Hayati because tea is my life. When I started this brand, I did that because I simply could not find in Dubai the teas that I wanted to drink myself. Now we stock at multiple restaurants that are listed on Mina's 50 Best. During COVID, I developed a heightened interest in learning more about tea and in that process, I realized that I simply can't find over here the tea that my sensei was sending to me and the tea that I wanted to drink on a daily basis. When I launched this brand, I found that there's still a large chunk of the market that needs to be educated on what good quality tea is or what tea even really is. If we just compare ourselves to where we were when we started and where we are right now, there has already been so much progress in how much more aware and educated uh, people are on high quality tea, whether that's in the F&B segment or in the B2C. Dubai is home to me. It is a great place to do business. People are kind, warm, loving, and because there are so many people over here that aren't really from here, it is a great melting pot of cultures. A relaxed day in Dubai involves me waking up, making myself a bowl of matcha, going out with my friends. I love going to um, Kinoya for lunch and then 1004 Gourmet for grocery shopping afterwards. And then we'll head to the beach. So the first thing that we have to do when making matcha is we will rinse the bowl. This is a very important step of the process because we use water that is no warmer than 65 to 75 degrees. And therefore, if we don't preheat the bowl, the temperature will further drop. You can sift your matcha directly into your bowl or you can sift it into the natsume before making your matcha, which is how they do it traditionally in Japan. While we're rinsing the bowl, we will also moisten the whisk. This will prolong the life of the whisk as it will soften the bristles. For koicha, you're essentially using 4 grams of matcha powder per 35 ml of water. And for usucha, you're using 2 grams of matcha powder per 70 ml of water. To achieve a really thick, velvety froth on the matcha, you want to whisk very quickly in an M or Z shaped motion. And that's really how easy it is to make matcha on a daily basis. It is incredibly healthy for you. It is packed with L-theanine and the caffeine in matcha actually gets released much slower than the caffeine in coffee, thus giving you a sense of calm alertness for six hours at a stretch, unlike the jitters that you get from coffee.